Hi everyone, my name is Gary Janchenko, and the purpose of this video is just a short introduction to the material that we will be covering uh, throughout this semester. Our course is Decision Support and Organizational Intelligence, and we'll be spending a lot of time sort of learning at a high level how organizations use the data that they have to, to make decisions to drive uh, drive their business forward, as well as some of the tactics and even some of the technologies that are used by companies to gather data to create uh, the decision structure, the support structure. So uh, tune into this video. We're going to talk through our syllabus and what's coming throughout the semester, as well as what the assignments may look like and other activities. And, uh, and our test material that we have as well. Alrighty, I have our syllabus pulled up here and just a few things to take a look at on our first page here. Again, my name is Gary Janchenko and my email address is gary.janchenko at mga.edu. I know we have some messaging functionality inside of D2L, but I've, I've got to share with you that it's not a push notification to me that something is new and in my inbox there. So I tend to um, be a little bit more delayed with that communication. It's really only when I log into D2L uh, that I see those messages. So for faster service, uh, please make sure that you are emailing me at this email address here, gary.janchenko at mga.edu. Um, I'll certainly respond. Um, inside of D2L, but uh, you will get a faster response this way. I, I try to keep some office hours in the evening, seven o'clock or so, eight o'clock kind of depends on um, what the need is. I do work during the day at another job where I am the chief information officer for a healthcare company. And my, my ability to respond is sometimes limited during the day. So I try to make sure I have dedicated time each evening to to answer our questions and to help. So some information on the course here, we're going to look at the concepts and practices associated with decision support and that organizational intelligence. We're going to look at some data mining techniques. We're going to look at a little bit of, we're going to do some activities around data mining as well. And uh, a few pieces here specifically that we're going to talk about over the semester. Um, are going to be association rules. We'll do some clustering. We'll talk about big data as well as some other materials as well. We will be using a book in this semester. Try as I might to not use books. It's going to help us with some of our material. So it's um, just one of the things that we'll be using. The book is Pearson, uh, fourth edition. Uh, here is actually what the book looks like. I think you can even rent it for just a few dollars a month. It's really not that complicated, and a print or an electronic version is absolutely fine. We'll be using Excel as well as a few other tools that everyone should easily have access to. Um, let's talk about the measurement. The course is going to be a thousand points, and I know that seems like a lot, but each of our assignments, and we'll have 12, is worth 50 points. That gets us to just over half half of the assignments. And then we'll have two exams, a midterm and a final. Uh, they will not be cumulative. The midterm will just cover the first half of the semester and the final, the material from the second half. So nothing specific that we need to know there. Um, one note with our assignments, um, assignments are due, uh, or assignments are posted every Monday morning and they are due the following Sunday by 11.59 p.m. at the time of D2L. So if you're in another time zone, uh, please pay attention to the D2L time. Every day that the assignment is late is a 25% reduction. And, and after three days, the assignment's not worth anything. Uh, if there is a problem where you are not going to be able to get an assignment done due to some circumstance, please email me gary.janchenko at mga.edu and let's work through that before uh, before you miss assignments or, or miss any points. We certainly don't want anyone to do that. Um, but after Wednesday, generally the assignment is worth zero. Um, you can still turn it in uh, and work on it for your own benefit, but <clears throat> there won't be uh, points awarded for it. This is our schedule for the semester and this is subject to change based on how quickly or well we get through some material uh, or you know if we need to go off on a different path or um, 
take a look at additional resources that folks may need. So I kind of just read through the assignments and the room, so to speak, uh, test when I'm working on the schedule and, and could certainly assign, uh, make some changes to assignments or move things around a bit. Um, some of the weeks we'll spend half the chapter uh, over two weeks because it's a little bit thick or we're going to have some activities associated with it. But generally each week there is an assignment again posted on Monday due at 1159 the following Sunday by 1159 um, on the D2L time. We'll have a week for our midterm and you will have a week for the final exam. Uh, so towards the end of the semester, we're definitely going to slow down a bit and we'll leave the book a few times. Um, regressions, association, rule mining, clustering, big data concepts. Um, we're going to leave the book a few times to take a look at some other resources uh, and do some real world um, activities around that. Um, nothing else in here that I overly need to discuss. The syllabus is pretty standard across uh, across MGA, but um, we'll talk about any changes to assignments. And um, again, with those assignments, if they're late, you're going to lose a significant amount of points each day that they're late. And we can help avoid that just by having open communication with me. Um, with that, there is not really too much I just want to cover. Uh, we're just beginning the semester off and it's sort of a half week. So we're not going to get too far um, into much material until next week. And we'll do chapter one overview of BI. Certainly take a look at that chapter, use this week to make sure that you have the material, the book, uh, either from the bookstore or rent it through Pearson is certainly something that you can do. Um, it is an older edition. It's It was published in 2017, so it's not overly expensive. I, I Again, I try to avoid books whenever I can, but this one will help us with some of the material. And with that, if you have any questions, please shoot me an email again, and we will work through that. I'm looking forward to everything that we're going to do this semester and some fun learning opportunities as well. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.